I never seem to craft a lot of this stuff until I actually need it. So I, I have all the, the base ingredients for things, but not usually everything that I need. Uh, let's go with another... We'll do two full stacks. I'm sure we will find a use for it at some other time. Actually, you know what? That should be fine. If not, we'll bring the die with us and be able to sort it out that way. Okay. And I'm going to need more than one bucket of water. Create an infinite water source up there. I just re realized that this um, beacon used to have a speed buff on it, and that's why I'm moving so slow. I'm used to being able to run around. Do, 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 do. Ooh, pretty dark in here. All right, so let's change this out. I feel like I like this X pattern. Do we like it being out into the room like that, though? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Do not like that. I want this to be on the center. So let's just put this here for now. Two. So let's say this is going to be wall. That's going to be wall. One, two, three. So maybe we just kind of push this wall out. this and then this does that work I would prefer to have this more visible so I think this will end up looking better. I see what I've got. I see the problem. I see the problem. I need to back this up. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, okay. That works. Uh, so let's go ahead and put in, put the gray glass back here. Try making automatic stuff to make things while you work elsewhere. You mean like auto farms? Yeah, I got lots of auto farms. That's essentially what this is. We've got a, a XP farm with a triple spider spawner, but we're trying to automate the transition or the transportation of all the string and spider eyes to this area. So this don't necessarily know if you're going to be able to see that. Probably not. Um, no, that's going to be straight wall. This is going to be gray glass. I like the gray glass. That was a good decision. So that's good. Um, I think we need... that and then I'm going to leave these two open because we're going to have to dig that that uh, that tunnel there like that
Oh, sorry, Jake. I didn't realize that you were talking to, to Anna. So I got that there, and then we'll leave one there. So these will eventually be, these two blocks here will eventually be gray glass, um, but they're going to be a water stream. So then we're going to have gray. This is just the right height too. It's just, just low enough that you can walk underneath it. Uh, and then here and here, and we'll do another one there. I don't know if I want to see that corner or if I want to block this in or what. But I'm thinking that this, two, three, two, three. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that looks okay. And then this is gonna be, I guess, wall. Or maybe push back a little bit. I'm actually not sure. I think we're gonna end up putting some stuff in the ceiling um, to light, to light everything up. I like that look though, so we'll do this. So do I not need this? Oh no, I will need that because of the, the water. Right. Maybe I could put something else there instead of the glass. I think maybe like a upside down stair or something because essentially it's going to look like that i was kind of hoping that we could have that flush how does that look hmm it's okay it's not fantastic i've never tried the stone block jake that's um I haven't tried many mods. Yeah, the automation thing just takes time. It, you know, it, it the Citadel has been around for over a year, so we've got a lot of stuff that's automated. But all right, well, you don't have to make that decision right now. We could just collect all this stuff and fill in glass. Let's put glass there too. Although we could we could always put something else back there too, design wise. So all of this is just going to have water on top of it, I think. But then this is going to have to have something that pops up there. We're going to have to move, move all this stuff here. So this is actually not going to be here. It's actually going to be in here. I want the wall. This is going to be the glass wall. So the dropper is going to go on that block. It's not as dramatic as I was hoping it would be, but that's fine. So that means these can go. And this is going to be gray glass.
might actually get rid of these. Cool. Thanks for hanging out, Astro Jake. So I think we're just about ready to put the water in to kind of see how that looks. Uh, we've got to put the, the back side of the trough in though. But this is just a matter of getting up here, and carving out the stream. So actually here, there would be no glass and hopper. Might as well get rid of all this dye right while we're up here. So I'm thinking up here, right above the water stream, is where I'm going to put all the lighting. Because that way you'll be able to really see what's going on. Now it's nice. All of those stone chunks should not have gone in those hoppers, which is good. And there's the water stream here, so that's good. We're gonna have to put something on top of this too, because otherwise the items will jump up and hit stuff. Um, that's gonna be a water source. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's eight. So that's gonna have to be, uh, no, that won't work. Um, this is going to have to be ice. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then that's going to be ice. That might work. That might work. Oh, that's not what I want. I guess technically I don't need that back thing to be glass. I think it'll just look cooler. No, I'm gonna get rid of this here. I like having a lot of room out the back of my, my storage and redstone stuff. Just makes any kind of changes that you have to make a lot easier. I find it easier on the head. So then this will be glass. Let's just make a little bit of a stair up here. So does anybody have any big plans for the holiday weekend? I am taking it easy. Right, I think we are water ready, although I have to get up in here. So I think I'm just gonna have to clear a lot of space. I don't do water streams in confined areas like this very much. So I'm not used to having to clear out so much. But I guess it would be good to have like a little walking path around the top of this, should we ever need to get up here. A little access. 
Maybe we can turn that into stone bricks or something. Oh, glad I didn't dig the hole yet. <laughs> that would have been bad. So maybe we can put like a little catwalk piece here. So that's going to be ice. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then ice again. And then that'll take it around to the side here. And then we'll have to put like a trap door or a sign or something here. Probably a trap door on that side. Probably make a iron trap door to go with everything. So far, so good. I guess we just need to test it. Oh, well, happy birthday to your seven-year-old nephew. That's really cool. Uh, water, glass box, I know we've got some packed ice in here. Uh, ice or packed ice? I guess I'll just go with packed ice because that will not melt should we have to do anything about it. Unfortunately, it's not the best looking block. It really kind of stands out in this build, but there's nothing else you can really do outside of just having the filter trickle, like the the water flow go down one, which I don't want to do. I don't know if you can see this diorite, but I'm going to get rid of it anyway, because why not? Oh, found some gravel. <laughs> I think this is solid. So for pretend, we'll put a block there. So that should all go this way. I don't think I have any leaks. Grab that. And that should take care of everything there. So let's do, let's put an infinite water source down here just because I feel like we're going to eventually need one. Uh, let's just do it right here. Obviously this is not going to stay in this room, but just in case I need more buckets of water. Oh wow, Lego Minecraft and a Creeper birthday card. That sounds amazing. So this will be a water source and it goes around the corner. But here we are going to have to change this into using a trap door. Do I have don't think I have, I've got regular trapdoors. I could make, I wonder if an iron trapdoor will look better given the color scheme that we're working with. Because I think it will be closed and I don't want it to open. But I'm thinking that we put an iron trapdoor here. Yes, then we can put, Water source there, and that should stop here. And then we'll make another iron trap door. Like so. And then we'll do one more water source and one more trap door. Let's 
So over here, we want the trapdoor to stop the water flowing and still look cool, but we don't want items to hit it. So we can't put it there. I guess we can just put it where we've put all the other ones there, and that should stop this water. Yep, perfect. So now, let's just see. I don't know if I have any extra eyeballs and string or what. Oh, there's the eyeballs. And I've got the string there. So if these items were coming up the elevator, then they would go into the water stream at the top here. I mean, this all could have been hoppers, but I think it looks cooler when you can see stuff going. So if this was string being thrown into the system like that, and then eyeballs, and then something that's not an eyeball or, or in the system like say granite, So all of our string should have ended up in that chest. And then all of our eyeballs should have ended in that one. I thought I threw in more than four, but maybe not. Maybe they got hung up on the edge. And then this dropper should have granite and diorite in it. Fantastic. Works as advertised. That looks a little bit funny, but we can deal with that later. Cool. So I'm happy with the way that that is working. Not super stoked with the way that it looks. I feel like we could maybe put stone slabs in the back there. That might look better. I also feel like this is going to be filled in. And this is maybe where we need to do some, some design cues, like having some wood. Oh, found the rest of the, the uh, gravel. Man, so much diorite. Big deposit up there. I think it's taken up one of my infinite water sources. Do I have a gravel shulker? I think I do. You know what? I think I might just dump all this andesite into that gravel shulker just to get it out of my inventory. Just because it's taken up so much space. Same color as everything else. <clears throat> hey, there's Paranor. How's it going, man? <laughs> Do I have any eyeballs? No, it's not something you normally hear, is it? I agree. A little bit weird. Uh, so I don't want to see the hoppers. So I'm thinking we use some... Um, I don't know if I want these to both be eyeballs. I guess we could we'd probably use two eyeballs. Hey, thanks for the bits, Paranor. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna make these both eyeballs. People can make, make well elsewhere. Because a lot of those eyeballs are gonna come through. Um, I do feel like this is, is tight quarters though. I don't know why. But it's symmetrical, like that's that's correct. You've got no, it's not. That's right. It's not symmetrical. Huh. 
Interesting. Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do. <laughs> so Joel is saying he's weird. I'm a little weird. I'll take it in stride. I like that emoji anagram. That's cool. Uh, hmm. It's really dark in here. I need to just spam torches. Yeah, I thought, for some reason in my head, I thought I had made this symmetrical, and I did not. Uh, do I just add more wool? And bump everything over by one? Because that would work. That would work, that would work. So if I put, yeah. I know what I want to do at least for the supports. So I want to use some of these spruce um, spruce trap doors. So this is not going to interrupt the water. So we'll just do that. So I wanted to have something like this. Maybe not every And then maybe use some slabs in between. Like that. Although then you can't see the items as much. Hmm. I guess I could use logs under there and that would be better. Yeah, I, I just, I'd like to be able to, for people to be able to see the items, that's the only thing. Hmm. Cause this is gonna um, be, so let's just see here. If I, maybe if I put one here, there, there. I mean, you'll still see the items kind of scooting across, but it's not as nice. I think maybe we'll just go with the straight stairs. Although that messes up kind of like the wall, the wall here. Maybe we want it even wider. Because then we could do something like this. And then have maybe something across the bottom. Maybe remove this so that you can see the items going up all the way. I am completely unprepared for this, by the way. I did not design this ahead of time. <laughs> I am just completely winging it to see what's going to happen. Yeah, I like that. That's okay. This is a little bit boring, but maybe that's where we could do something like replacing these with logs. Yeah, I'd rather have that. And then we we'll, we can do something else with this. Maybe this can be bricks. Yeah, that's fine. Kind of goes with the grays of the hoppers that you can kind of see in the back. I'm okay with that. And then this, this would be a brick too, which I think is what's behind the door. 
Yeah, so this has got brick all on the bottom there. So that'll work. All right, decision made. So now it's just a matter of getting something similar over here, but having it be more symmetrical. So I need to have another row of things there. So this is going to be the other wall here. Sorry, we have enough room in the water stream to make it work. It's just a matter of of getting up there and changing it. Like that. And then, yeah, like if that was a log, that would tie in nicely with that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, the art has been going slow, Paranor. Uh, however, I have made a decision to stream art a lot more in November. I don't want to commit to daily, but I need to be streaming art like three times a week. Um, it's just something I need to start doing more. I wish I could be this creative, says Stanley. Well, thanks, man. I mean, I'm just kind of I'm not really... This isn't a masterpiece. I'm just trying to make it look... Decent. I don't know how many people are actually going to use this either. It's just more for the, the completionist in me wants to have this that's done. We've got a too high space up here, so I want to light this up a little bit. So I need to remove this water source, and it needs to go over one. So this is a now the I think the fourth time <laughs> I've uh, I've had to move this. Oh, I need that trap door back. So much crap in the inventory. Is anybody else playing with the new textures? Out of curiosity. Is it just me? think oh there is no way out that way anymore that's something else I'm gonna to have to figure out is maybe we can I don't know if you ever have to go back there you just have to break those those two blocks there uh, so if anything I'd say we probably end up needing more string and less of the other stuff so let's let's get rid of these for now and then we'll just put in chests there. We'll remove these chests. I need to dump some inventory. Do I have any? Let's just do... I'm going to need the hoppers. Don't need the bed. Don't need any of this stuff right now. Probably put the fences back here. There, okay, this should not be as troublesome. Fifty wide, wow, that's a big temple paranoid. Nice. Iron farm in the middle of a temple. I really wanna I wanna build a pyramid where like not a like a traditional pyramid, but like a pyramid where it's of my own design where everything is is um all the things that you need are all funneled into the center of it. I think that would be really cool. So this is going to no longer be needed. We're going to need chests here. Wow, oh God, this inventory quirk that's in Java right now is really gross. It really throws me. That goes there. This goes there. And now that looks a lot more symmetrical when you walk in. So that means that this is going to move and that these are going to have to go over this way.
think I'm going to need another going to need another uh, what you call it uh, comparator and filter setup yeah break that and then I can actually break this and not have any worries uh, is this gonna mess up no because I think I can put a water source there now because this is gonna have to be a filter yeah okay I know what to do I know what to do Do you still have that momentum on your hopper when scrolling or have they fixed that? They have not fixed that. Uh, I have just gotten good at landing on the right thing. Uh, but no, it is very frustrating. I still I still deal with that, uh, which sucks. I wish they would change it. Oh no, I did not want to fall in here. I need another one there. And then to try to remember to build this a little bit at a time. Now I need, now this is where I need my more, my comparators and stuff. I need one of these, one of these, and one of those. Did I not grab a comparator? Oh, I see what I did. Again, that's, and there's some mouse lag that happens when I stream, and I, I don't know what that is. I don't know whether that's Mac, whether that's OBS, or what, but I do find that when I stream, my mouse does not do great. It does fine in the world. It's, it's the inventory and uh, menu screens that I find problematic. So we can put the comparator down here. Put the torch in, put the repeater in, and now we just need a little bit more dust. Yeah, the hot bar thing is a real, real issue. I know I could press the number keys, but I just, I've never played games like that. Even first person shooters, I always, I always just did the, the mouse wheel thing. Uh, string for this one and eyeballs for that one. So now I think I've got to move the ice. So one, two, we could move the ice here. That'll get around the corner. This can, no, this can be ice. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no, wait, maybe that won't work. Let's see here. If this is the ice, then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, we'd have to put ice here again, or ice here, which would make more sense because then we can hide it. Let's do that. And we'll grab you. Oh good, it's gonna go in the hopper. Uh, need you there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, perfect. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, blah, blah. that's fine. I think it's fine. No, this has to be moved. 
right? I think the water stream is not on top of, right? It's not on top of the, the stairs. It is behind the stairs. Do you have any buttons unmapped for Minecraft? Uh, I think the only thing that I've changed from default is I use the V key to throw stuff, not the Q key, because I kept on hitting the Q key by mistake. It was driving me bananas. So this will just queue into, did I do? I did that all the way around. Yeah, I did. We'll do the same thing. I mean, I might come back and fill some of this in, but for now, we'll just do the same, the same thing. Did I do? Yeah. Okay. Ah, then this has got this is filled in. That's why it looks bigger. Is because. On the other side, this is all filled in like that. I know you can't really see stuff back here, but I always feel a lot better when you've kind of made the redstone builds look better dark back here I think I, I think we're gonna do is we're gonna put sea lanterns above things if not I don't think because I don't think you can see up here when we're down below like if you're out this way like you can't see oh you can see the ceiling all right so maybe I'll put a little bit more thought into into that than than just putting sea lanterns they're not gonna be torches I can tell you that but I don't want the light to be seen. I kind of want to hide it. Yeah, my mind knows. And plus, if you ever have to go back and fix anything, then it just it feels a lot nicer um, to be able to do that. Let's get rid of you because you're going to have to be a stair. So this is slowly coming together. It's not taking, it's taken longer than I wanted it to, but I'm still happy with it. And then this, I guess, is gonna be more gray glass. And this is gonna be moved. I also think I picked up a bunch of diorite and stuff I don't want. So this is going to have to have glass in front of it. So while we're designing everything, I guess we should probably have that be the same. And then this is all getting filled in. So I think it turned it into a seven wide room with these kind of sticking out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, did I screw up again? I'm confused. Takes the time to do it right. Alexander Keith did indeed say that. I do know what you're talking about. Oh, I know it's a maritime IPA. I grew up in Halifax. I do indeed. Uh, it's not a very good beer. I prefer microbrew. Fun fact about Nova Scotia, it has the most microbrews per capita in Canada. There are a lot. So why, how is this messed up? 
I have to undo and redo all that stuff again? Gross. Gross, gross, gross. I think I do. Hmm. Yeah, I added, I added something when really what I should have done was move, move something. I had it right the first time. It was this that had to go move, to get moved, not the other way around. Well then. Ugh. I need labels so that I can actually figure out what's going on here. So three of these are string and one of these are spider eyes. And I much preferred it. I don't know, I guess we can leave this here. That'll be less to move around. Yeah, let's do that. So I added a filter when I really, oh, and I, what I needed to do was move a filter. That was the problem. So we can just do this. And then spider eyes are, do I have any? Must be some in the chest somewhere. There we go. I'm just gonna put all the string in there. So that works, and then this, is all coming down. Because that was unnecessary. Um, I guess I can leave that there because that still makes sense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we'll just get rid of this. Put in a piece of glass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're still gonna need a trap door at the end. That's fine. I need to do this too. Just so it's easier to get up here. I think I have this sorted now and it's going to look good. So that's the corner. This is the corner, which means that these are incorrect. And that this needs to come out. So I moved this part back and I did not have to. That was the mistake. This is going to be glass. At least for now, I might change a little bit of this. Because this part here is going to be where the dropper goes.
I kind of like that deep look, though. Uh, I actually picked up a six-pack the other day, Paranor, and it is Hoppy Buoy by Garrison. Garrison's probably my favorite brewery in in the region. They just they do a lot of their stuff so very well, so it's kind of like a no-brainer. I like to try new stuff, like I like to try new beer, but a lot of the times I just kind of go with what I know I'm going to like. If you like Kraken, then I have a suggestion for you, and it is Cruzan, C-R-U-Z-A-N. It's cheaper and better, and it is a authentic blackstrap rum. Um, Kraken has got syrup in it because it's all made in America. So if you like Kraken, then I would suggest testing out um, Cruzan. See, that's where I was having trouble there with the, the wheel not doing what I want it to. Does not go there. This is the glass tube. Oh. What am I doing? Right. This is the new, this is the new thing here, right? You get really turned around when you're up here. I think the thing to do is going to be to finish this part here. Right? And then just go straight across this one on the other side is wood. Ah, I see what I did. So why does this look so different than the other side? I guess it's because there's other other things in there here. So there's the hole. There's the glass. So all of this can come out. It's supposed to be glass. Wow, my aim is just completely off the mark. think 
that I did that right. I'm sure there's going to be some other adjustments. It's been really windy here the last little while. That's for sure, Paranor. Uh, Garrison does not ship overseas, I don't think. Uh, Cruzan should, though. Cruzan, uh, actually, my favorite amber rum right now is um, Plantation. And that gets barreled in France, so that should be available in the UK. Uh, C-R-U-Z-A-N is how you spell it. Okay, so we're getting there. We're getting there, we're getting there. Everything is looking balanced here. Uh, I want to make sure that this that the right filters are in the right places. So this should be 41 eyes, 41, 41, 41. Okay. Something that I like about this setup is that if you can stand on this back block, then you can actually still reach the filter. So it's an easy way to check everything, which I really like. Uh, I know that this is now different than the other side because I have this other side filled in. So what do we think the way that this looks from below? I much prefer this side. So we're going to fill in the other side a little bit. We might just come up here and move a few things. Like that. Oh, I see that this is a little bit different. Let's even that up. Looking the same, looking the same. We'll figure out a, uh, an access way to get up here too. But let's do this for now. Same thing over here. I'm just being extra. We could just put the torches on the back there. You'd never see them. But I want to try to do something a little bit different than that. Uh, I'm okay with the way that that looks. This will obviously be changed. Looks good to me. I think I do want to put some bricks back here, though. Uh, do we want to do... Just out of curiosity, I wonder what it would look like if we did this. Like that. Ooh. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Oops. a spot there but that's okay so there's obviously a thunder shower going on in the game here and we do not have fire tick turned off on the server so i'm gonna go sleep real fast if it's nighttime and see if i can't get rid of this just because if the lightning bolt hits anything while i'm in there i'm not gonna be able to see it burning and one of our members lost their treehouse the last time that there was a thunderstorm in the meadows Normally, I'm not near the meadows. It's not a big deal. It looks like it might be daytime. Oh, no. We're good. Yeah, the... I'm not sure when Matcast is going to take the creeper down. He hasn't been online in a long time. It's just me. Uh, we are currently player killing the spiders. Uh, we don't have a switch to turn it into an auto kill because you've got to be near the spawner anyway. Is he coming back? Where'd he go? Come on. Let's get it over with. Um, so yeah, it's, it's meant... Oh, where did that come from? I heard him. Ah, I can't believe I got him. <laughs> How did you survive that epic hit? <laughs> that was crazy. 
Yeah, he might like it. My cast might like the creeper. I kind of want the wool back because <laughs> me and me and uh, Alistair, um, I think he supplied a lot of the dye, and we and I supplied a lot of the wool. Yeah, the flying squids are really weird. Um, I don't know if I like this. It's a little bit weird. I think we might have to do something about that. Um, but I do like the way that this looks. So we had like that there. Huh. Do we like this better or that better? I mean, if there's going to be, I guess it doesn't matter. There's going to be a water stream in there anyway. Just out of curiosity. I guess it looks a little bit cooler this way. Oh, I guess I don't need it cleared out too much. Yeah, that looks okay. Let's just make sure we've got the other part of it sorted up here. I feel like there's some weird, weird things happening. Uh, oh, I see what it. Is. I see where it is. Oh, it's because it's glass. Okay, I thought there wasn't a block there, but I just, I just couldn't see it because it was, it was glass. All right, cool. So the other side should be the same. Not quite. Oh, I see what I've done wrong. Or not wrong, but I see what's different. Is that these back here our glass. Put this here. Like that, and then put this back. And then glass goes there. Nope, that's still not right. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, it's so difficult. That is so bizarre. There's one thing about this connected glass texture. It's a little bit odd. Hmm. All right, well, I'm losing patience with this, so I'm going to try something else. Um, and that... It's supposed to be stone. There. Right, that looks the same. So then, what's the difference? Does that go all the way up? Weird. That's bugging me now. So that's just not glass all the way down. So I think it's just that this is farther back. I think that was the only difference. Well, I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna need uh, that there and we can put the water streams 
back now. And this should go all the way to the ice. Yep. So if I put something in here like diorite, then they should all end up on the floor in the hole on the other side. Quite quickly. And they should all be right there. Sweet. Okay, so that's set up. Uh, again, I don't know what we're going to do about the lighting. What are we doing for time here? 7.40. Okay, well, let's get rid of some of this crap in the old inventory. Uh, comparator stuff, wool, eyeballs go here. This down. Don't need that one. Always underestimate how long these kind of tasks take. Uh, that's good. What was in that? Just sand? Yes. I do like the new sand texture, I have to say. Uh, this I'm going to have to unpack somewhere. This needs to be stone brick. So let's remove all this garbage lighting and see if we can actually come up with something a little bit nicer. I might actually change the floor in here too. So let's do either side of the door and then maybe one there. I just want this to be mob proof. Oh, wow, yeah. We're gonna have to come up with some way. Maybe I'll light the floor. Maybe I'll have to, I'll come up with some way to light the floor. Oh, I took, I put my, put my wood box away. I need one more stair. I'm not too worried about spawns out back just because they can't get out. So that is good. I think I'm gonna have to call it there. Uh, it's getting close to dinner time here and the remaining stuff is going to be just tedious. It's just going to be me digging a hole and, and lining that stuff up. So I think I might, uh, just kind of put some stuff away and we'll call it a day.